All right, we'll continue our work with designing and building forms. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to create and use legacy controls, right? So let's let's say if you'd like to create some buttons on your form and uh, be automatically be able to um, use or uh, initiate some macros or commands, okay? It's a little more advanced than previous tutorials, but may form to be very handy, especially if you're working with designing forms and emailing forms and so forth. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna create a button and I'm gonna assign a code to that button so that when users click on that button, uh, their email open, right? Or they are able to email their document. So let me show you this. So we have this uh, document open here, which is again our research proposal. And I'm going to just quickly insert a form here. Uh, now this is gonna be some practice for you, but uh, the practice is good, okay? So I'm just gonna scroll down here somewhere. All right, here's where I'm gonna enter my form. And this is again my management. Oops, conference, agenda, forum, something like that. So I'm just gonna, gonna do some quick formatting here. All right, how do I get to my forms? Remember, recall, uh, we must have the developer tab enabled. And if you don't see the developer tab within your Word 2013 environment, go up to file, options, Customize ribbon, and on the right side, you'll see the developer. So the, if this checkbox is checked, you will see the developer tab. If this is not checked, you will not see it, okay? So just wanted to show you quickly. All right, so under developer uh, tab, we, uh, we go to our controls group, and of course, we first design mode, and then we insert some, some text here, name, and we go up to our fields. I want to insert a rich text field here. Okay, address. You get the idea, right? So we've done this before, so I'm just gonna quickly do this again, just, just so that we're comfortable with it. All right, so let's say uh, we, or let me, let me just do this quick here. Let me right click, properties, choose an item. Yeah, Chicago, and again, San Francisco, Austin, and New York. Okay, so just, just some sample here text for you. All right, pick a location I need to create a heading here okay um, and I can also tab these to make sure they're in the right size okay I'll get some rival dates rival date rather and here's my date picker control all right so let's say I have this form okay I developed already I need to create a button here now okay that is going to email the entire document or my form if I'm creating a standalone form to a user or to anyone, okay? So let's, let's see how we do this. this. Controls group also has some legacy controls, legacy forms, some ActiveX controls. And under ActiveX, you can again use checkboxes, text, scroll bar, etc. And I'm looking for a command button. Okay, here it is. So this will insert a command button for me so that once the user is done filling out this form, he or she'd be able to just click on the button and then email the document, okay? So that'd be nice, that'd be much handy. All right, so once I insert a command button, uh, notice I'm still in design mode. So let me just right click and go to properties and just take a look at what I see on the screen here. Okay, let me make this a little bigger. And let me just the size so we can see our document, okay. These are just uh, general properties regarding this button, okay? There's no code here, so we just need to format. It's just formatting of this button here. So for example, if the name of the button is command button one, I need to rename it called submit, okay? I can change the, the four color if I want, make it blue, whatever, different colors. I can pick an option here or I can pick from palette here, um, okay? So let's say I pick blue. 
and these are again alphabetically ordered and I can also see it as categorized so I can change the appearance of this box I can change the behavior of this box font some miscellaneous options um, and I can also enter the picture as far as this box is concerned okay um, all right so here's the caption okay and I'm going to say submit this caption and notice word changes the button to submit all right, so I'm still in design mode. All I did was format the button. The second thing that I need to do is basically put a code behind this button, okay? So what's gonna happen when someone clicks this button? To do this, I simply double click on the button and this will open up a, the Visual Basic for Applications Editor, okay? This is where I can write my code as to tell that once someone clicks on the submit button, what's going to happen. So if I click, um, this code is gonna run. Right now there's no code. I'm going to create a code, a very short code that allows you to um, email the document. And again, you can work with it if, if need be. If you're um, already working with programming side of things, um, this will be very easy. If not, no big deal. You can always search for codes, and I'm going to give you some additional codes in, in at the end of the course, also some basic codes so you can work with them. Okay. So all right, let's see. This is going to be the submit button, and it's going to open up the email. All right. So I'm going to go. All right, options dot send mail attach and this I'm gonna say is gonna be true. Oops, okay. Uh, I forgot the S in the options. Notice how it says oh that's not right, so you gotta make fix it. And then I'm gonna say all right, activate activate my document, so my active document and then send uh, mail. I can either select from here or I can just keep typing, okay? All right, so here's my code, a simple code. I can check it, test it, run it. I work with other uh, tools as well, and my document is this document, so uh, this code will relate to this document, okay? And I've assigned it to the button because I double-clicked on the button to assign uh, this particular code to that button. So all I have to do is just close this, go out of my design mode, and uh, test it out. So I'm going to say, all right, name is going to be John here, and my address is going to be 222 Northbrook Avenue. I'm going to pick a location, say San Francisco, and my arrival date is going to be Friday the 21st okay. and if I click submit now my email editor opens the document is automatically attached and all I have to do is just type in the email and off the form goes okay. so very very powerful way to create buttons create your entire form like this so that it's easier um, and I can do some formatting here quick maybe I just want a outside border okay and so forth so quick way to work with legacy controls and that's found on the developer tab controls group um, I can create a button which I've just showed you similarly I can also work with other things but you need to know a little bit of programming okay so if you're not uh, too keen on programming that's that's fine uh, there are tons of codes available you know, we can just pick and you can uh, play with them but I showed you a good way to get into the uh, Visual Basic editor and then kind of uh, insert some code and, and work with it, okay? So I hope this helps. Powerful way of creating forms in Word 2013. Let's take a short quiz.